Thank you, Director Townsend. Thank you, Governor, for inviting me back to what I feel is a STEM family reunion. It's been four months in DC, and I know that I, I have five minutes to span a 10-year period of federal STEM activity. By the way, in the event that it's been lost on anybody in this room, it's a remarkable, wonderful compliment to Iowa STEM that one of us has been dispatched to Washington to help shape federal STEM policy, a tribute to everybody here. So may I take just 10 seconds of my precious five minutes for a round of applause throughout the room. You're all shaping federal STEM in ways you don't know. But we are shaping federal STEM. By the way, the, um, the story begins in 2013 before my timeline began out there, of course, but there was a federal STEM plan generated in 2013 under the Obama administration as a result of legislation called the America Competes Act that, that uh, mandated a five-year STEM plan for the country. That expires next month. So my first task, among other duties as assigned, I'm coming to learn, is to write a, a performance assessment of the last five years across 13 federal agencies who have spent about $3.2 billion a year uh, to enact a federal STEM portfolio. I didn't know about the plan, you probably didn't know about the plan either, but it is a, it is a lovely document. It uh, spans five investment priorities that transcend federal agencies. One is producing more K-12 STEM teachers, the 100K and 10 you've probably heard about. Another is to reform undergraduate STEM education. A third is reform of graduate STEM education. The fourth is engage the informal, non-formal sector more. And the fifth is uh, broadening the participation of underrepresented subpopulations of learners in STEM. Five great investment priorities. A sixth was added in 2016, computer science for all. And so uh, over the course of the last couple of months and the couple of months to come, we're assessing how everybody did on those five, now six, investment priorities. And, and we deliver a report to Congress in May, gulp. But we'll make that deadline somehow. What's really going to be the exciting part, though, for me, the part that was really enticing about um, temporarily exiting this wonderful environment, is to write the next plan to lead the writing, I should say, of the next five-year plan. It'll span May of 18 to May of 2023. That really gets my blood pumping because, of course, I get to bring the Iowa fingerprint to the national STEM landscape. In fact, I'm gonna make this last two minutes interactive. I brought along 10 new priorities. STEM's changed a lot since 2013, and I've been having hundreds of conversations with thousands of stakeholders and I'm keeping a ledger of high mention priorities, emergent priorities to get into the next plan. Well, here's, I hope you'll accept, an invitation to help shape the next five years at the federal level. I'm going to read you the 10 most frequent new priorities for the federal investment portfolio. And I invite you to offer feedback. Clap if you like it. Hoot, holler, uh, stand, raise your hand. Whatever, I'm gonna take notes about which of these 10 really resonate with the folks in this room. You ready? First, expand work-based learning, internships, pre-apprenticeships, apprenticeships, job shadows, job boards, clearinghouses. What do you think? I knew that would sail. Two, relatedly, provide K-12 and collegiate teachers and professors externships in business so they can sync up what they teach with what the workforce needs. Oh, that's, that's pretty good too. Three, promote innovation and entrepreneurship through things like maker spaces and school business partnerships. Yeah, yeah, I knew that one. I'll tell you why these sound so familiar later. But four, build out community level STEM ecosystems, whether you call them sector partnerships, intermediary networks, STEM hubs, or what have you, to connect educators with employers. Absolutely, okay. Five, focus on rigorous, rapid credentialing systems for a skilled technical workforce. Keeper? You can't keep all 10, probably. Uh, six, expand digital learning platforms, K through college and beyond, evaluating carefully for best practices. A little tepid on that one. 
uh, seven. Yeah, seven. Seamlessly integrate mathematics and computer science across the grades and across subjects to maximize meaning, application, and relevance. Yeah. Eight, start early. Prioritize early childhood STEM. Yeah. Get them while they're young. Uh, nine, erase the artificial boundaries of STEM. Move toward transdisciplinary teaching and learning. A little education wonky, but... And finally, 10, make broadening the participation of underrepresented groups, women, ethnic and racial minorities, the rural, the differently abled, veterans, low-income learners, etc., a priority across federal agencies. Oh, good one to end on. Well, those should sound familiar because that's the trail that Iowa has been blazing for several years now, thanks to our governor, our governor's STEM council, our regional managers, an amazing team that foreshadowed the national STEM plan. So it's a great honor and delight to be representing you there and crafting this new plan, which hopefully, when the dust settles this fall, supports the future-ready ambitions of Iowa and other states across the nation, at which time... I'll do my mic drop in DC and I'll return to help here in Iowa. Thank you all very much.